to be a blessing many believers are blind in as much as they are saved they do not know how to tap into the intelligence of the spirit and so there is nothing commendable about their christian experience they just go to church they study the bible blindly they pray blindly and there is no beauty and glory that emanates with time from their lives the seeing eyes a man can have access to the miracle of sight. Now, very quickly, the seeing eye is an attempt to show you the various ways. Watch this now. That the intent, the mind of God, the mind of the spirit is brought to bear to the believer. That there is a technology in the spirit by which you can tap into the mind of God pictorially, graphically. That you can know that this is God's intent for you for the now and for the season of your life that you're in. And then you obtain grace to walk based on that picture. Hallelujah now. If you do not know what God is thinking about you, in fact, the Bible says it this way, Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, that they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. He does not tell you specifically what they are. He just tells you that they are thoughts of peace. And so you need to buy into the mind of the spirit to know what God intends for you to do now. There are many sincere believers who have found themselves touring parts of destiny that were not earmarked. It is not part of their prophetic blueprint. They sincerely began to follow blindly. And from the lens of prophecy and God's, God's assignment for them, many of them would soon realize that they've just been wasting their time doing things that are not part of their prophetic blueprint taking journeys and long paths in life and destiny that they would later find out was not earmarked for them for as long as John was in the will of God he had access to all that God intended for him to do no one could kill him no one could people could persecute him but he became invincible he was immune because he was staying in the will of God the moment John the Baptist veered off the will of God and he began to do and practice things that were not in his prophetic blueprint he became a prey to the enemy and he died cheaply the assignment of John was to be the forerunner of Jesus and for as long as he understood that assignment and stood upon his watch playing that role effectively the same people who would later kill him were there and yet they had no power over him because he was immune by the power of his vision but the moment he announced Jesus and he did not know what else to do with his life he began to delve into areas perhaps sincerely so that was not earmarked for his destiny. How could a man announce Jesus and die the way John died? How could a man ordain Jesus to ministry and die the way that he died? That is not how God rewards those who walk with him. But that is what happens to a man when you become blinded. Just because you saw yesterday does not mean you are seeing now.